Hello everyone, this is Mr. Monk. We're back with Don't Starve. We're getting ready for winter. We're on day 17. Winter starts on day 21. So we are going to head out tomorrow, get a bunch more grass. We need grass for some more of our farms. We might not get farms um the next set of farms done in order to have more than one harvest but we should be able to have a set of farms done in order to have uh veggies ready to grab during uh, winter and we do have kind of a, a group of veggies ready we can always grab mushrooms during winter as well uh, but we are going to need, as you can see, we are running out. Our um, traps have just run out as well. So we need lots and lots and lots of grass. So we will be heading out and looking for grass starting tomorrow. Add some fuel here before it gets dark. And we do have a campfire in reserve. I do try and have uh, the temporary campfire in reserve at all times. Um, and we have a bug net. And catch. Well, they were there. All right, come on, buggies. Ah, it's trying to inspect everything. Bugs, come on. I have them right next to camp and I can't catch them. All right. Uh. Oh. It could be because I'm using the wrong button. Yep, that would be why. <laughs> it helps when you use the right button. Okay. I'll have to use the right button uh, next time too. But uh, let's see. So we can make our miner hat. Maybe. Yes, I need one gold. That was so silly. I kept trying to inspect it and inspect them instead of catch them. One minor hat. Alright, we're gonna give that to Glomer. Now, in order to keep the minor hat charged um, after being used, there are light plants underground, so we will at some point have to go down there and get some. Uh, lights to replenish it, but that is certainly doable. Uh, it's not a problem to just go ahead and do that. Let's put this, store that. Oh, we do have one thing that has one more grab. Now, I was kind of looking at our map. There's, there's areas like over there that look like it's grassland that we haven't even been to. I thought maybe we could head that way. See what we find. We could grab more grass on the way back. Of course, there's grass over here. We can grab. Guess we'll grab some of this on the way just because it's literally right on the road. Uh. Oh, is this an extra shovel? Didn't I leave an extra shovel somewhere? I did. That's nice, because I just ran out with my other shovel, and this will give me, like, three more um, chances to dig stuff up. This is, like, a, a huge amount of beefalo in this, this section. It is awesome. Amazing. I, I could not ask for more. Oh, there's a little pickle house over here. I seem to remember that. Uh, but we want to go down for the area that we haven't been to before. We'll pick up all this lovely grass. 
So during winter, we may end up taking a little bit of an excursion, depending on how we're doing, to come and pick up a bunch of this grass and transplant it over to where we live. We're going to need to have rot of some sort. And uh, one of the things we can turn into rot is seeds. Now birds eat the seeds when they're on the ground, but if you toast them first, then they won't eat them. So you can turn seeds into rot because you end up getting a lot of seeds. And you don't always end up using them, especially over winter. And it's like, they take forever to rot, but they do eventually rot. That's kind of an, a, a long-term option. Okay, so it's down over this way. We just haven't been over here yet. But we are... Uh, we're up to 35 grass, so that's much better than where we've been. And we could come over this way maybe one winter and, and actually pick up grass we transplanted. Uh, but this will let us make a couple more of the drying racks, which will help. So we can have some of the jerky, and uh, you can dry monster meat. Uh, it, it won't really give you anything. As, as Weber, you can eat the monster meat, and you'll be fine. It won't hurt your sanity at all, but you don't uh, get any other benefit from it. Jerky in general will help a little with your sanity and health, so it's nice to have that... Um, boost with the jerky but the benefit for doing it with monster meat is twofold one you can feed it to the bird to get eggs so you can make your pierogies or your bacon and eggs but it also lasts a lot longer okay let's see we're up to 50 grass now. This is awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and take some of this back with us. I think we have enough room in our inventory. If I'd really thought about it. It would have made sense to just go ahead and take some back with us. Uh, and we would have just worried about getting it. Well, I kind of worry because once you pick it up, you, obviously you can't harvest it anymore, but we had 50 grass. So we had 50 grass without picking any of this up. Because once you pick it up, of course, you can't harvest it anymore. So it's like, well, then I can't harvest the grass. And if I don't actually fertilize it, then what do you do? But with being able to pick up so much grass, then the others were, like, extra. This will let's take a couple, couple of things back and I have a mouse pointer in the way. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's gone now. I definitely want to take some twigs back though, and the ones that aren't right close to base, because the ones really close to base, you know, they're right close to base and easy to get to. Oh, this is another section where I haven't even been to yet. So let's go ahead and pick these up. Because I didn't need these for um, getting my grass count. Oh, goodness! Wrong button. Okay. On equip, for sure. Uh. Oh my goodness, that is going to let me... This beefalo hat allows you to go near the beefalo when they are um, in season and aggressive. I wish I had my hammer. Uh, here's another spear. Uh, it, 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 this is worth making a hammer. Um, cause, yeah, get some bone shards, uh, 
so uh, and and hound's teeth uh, yeah a little a little bit more um silk and you can make is it in here uh might need the uh alchemy engine for it but the uh you can make store um sewing machine so that oh i'm full um you can repair things so if we get deer Klops's eye we can make the eyebrella which is really cool it's like an umbrella you wear on your head and can i just say i want one of those in real life that would just be really awesome to have I, I would so wear that. It, it would just be, it would be a lot of fun. This is not the, the best meal to have, but I forgot to bring stuff with me. Uh, so, yeah. So we actually are gonna have basically what we need to make a sewing kit. Um, with us already so that's uh, oh that that was just like a, a, a an awesome find and we're going to be able to go near the beefalo which even if i don't need that for getting around them for poop purposes they're kind of in the middle of the road and could potentially be a little difficult to be around just for travel purposes Uh -oh. So, yeah, let's, let's get some of the flowers in here. There's going to be a bunch, and I'll go ahead and pick up their carrots. Because this is not a place I hang out on a regular basis because of all the um, pigs. And since I'm out here already, we're going to go ahead and kind of start emptying this place out. There's a lot of mushrooms that are out here. Uh, so if I happen to be out here... pick up niter, but I'm not going to because I want more trees. So this is going to give me a lot more saplings. Again, we're on day 19, so I'm not going to get to harvest these before winter, but they'll be available in spring. And, you know, as I'm uh, picking up the saplings, of course, I'm getting the twigs. So I had, what, half of 40, so it's 20 in the chest. Plus, I'm getting a whole bunch more as I go here. And I've got, of course, uh, 70 grass right now. And I'm picking up some flowers. Oh, run from the piggy. I'm sorry, piggy, go away. Go away, piggy, go away. Well, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry for picking your flowers. I'm sorry you saw me pick your flowers and your trees. Oh, I can't pick up seeds. That's okay. I've got plenty of seeds at home. Uh, but we are to a point where I really do need to hightail at home. Because reasons. Yeah, so we actually were out here long enough that the new farms that I'm going to be making uh, probably will not have a chance to... Well, actually they will. You know what? We have so much poop. We are going to fertilize them and make them have veggies on them before winter. Uh, but I do need to eat a raw carrot. Okay. We're up to six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that actually gives us twenty grass that is going to be able to be transplanted. 
not fertilized just yet, but transplanted. And we'll start to fertilize it um, with some of the rot that we're going to get because we will have more rot available. Okay, so we can follow this. We need to just take the up trend when we get to it. Here. To get home. Ugh, again with the... Okay. So we obviously need to eat. Yeah. Gonna open this and we're just gonna eat straight out of the fridge. Which, you know, you're not supposed to ever do, but oh well. Okay, we're going to be getting a dog attack like any day now. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to drop these 12 off. Those have already turned into rot, you can see. Uh, drop Chester. Because again, any day now, we need to get lots of wood. Dry that, and I take these eat some meatballs. Take the berries first. Right on the edge of that, so. I'm going to come down here and drop the twig trees that we need to plant first thing in the morning. I'm going to get the seeds. It's going to start getting cold. Plant these, plant this. Ah, uh, we can pick the meatball up. Put this meatball and put it up. So I'm going to cook all these mushrooms. It gives it a little bit more life as things start to go bad. And then all that monster meat that we need to have. Do that. God, there's a watermelon over here somewhere. And we're going to plant. Uh, oh, we already planted there. And plant. I gotta try and remember what the turkey dinner recipe is. I think it's corn related. As you can see, we're starting to get kind of stuffed in here. When that happens, I will often move just the meat into the final cooked um, fridge. So next on our list, we need to have a couple of a couple more um, drying racks. Whoops, I made one root too many. Oh, well actually, I will need another thing of armor. So, not too many. Get a second one of these here. And a third one. This is gonna be in the middle. There we go. So now I'm going to take two of the monster meat and I'm going to go ahead and dry these just so they last longer. 
So don't go bad. And then I'm going to plant this one right there and fertilize it. I am not going to grab these berries. The reason is it's day 20. If I do, they're not going to grow again and they will go bad even in the fridge before the end of um, winter. So I would rather have on the same it's so hard to tell. Uh, I'd rather leave them on the berry bushes. So you get to a point where you're getting into winter and you want to leave those alone. So I want to leave those there. Uh, not the prettiest, but it works. Now we have some farms we want to build, right? So let's get the rest of our poop out. And we've got stone, we've got grass. Let's build them. Let's go. Let's go. Up one. Up one. One. I want one more this way. I'm trying to think where Flingo is going to go. See, yeah, I think one down here, maybe. Flower petals. Could ride over here. And I need one more seed. Now we have enough poop to go ahead and fertilize these a bit. So we're gonna give these a nice little boost. Look at that. How did I reach zero? Not over. And of course it's raining. It's raining the day before winter, so sad. So it's probably freezing rain. I have a feeling I'm going to get cold momentarily. down some trees and get some wood. Oh, see? Cold. Now one thing you can do, this pickaxe is partially used. You can have a pickaxe that's like down to 2% and make um, a thermal stone. But my, ther my uh, pickaxe is um, at 88. So, And I don't really have a lot of stone nearby where I can use it for other stuff. So we're just going to use it as is. We're going to make another log suit so that I have um, a higher up one. All our veggies except for one is uh, rare and ready to go for winter time. So we have 
those veggies as an option to pull out other than the ones that are in our refrigerator already. I'm going to go ahead and plant these grass tufts. I'm going to plant them over here. Kind of sort of out of the way. not something that I would necessarily uh, protect with a flingo. Uh, okay. <laughs> Talk about timing on that one. And I don't have enough wood for... Oh yes I do. I was going to say, I thought I chopped down more wood than that. So we'll finish planting our grass in the morning. And I think that is a good place for us to stop our episode because tomorrow, well actually before we do that, let's go ahead and make our winter's hat. Why do we actually have enough for a winter's hat? I think we do. Yeah. So we now have a winter's hat. It's a cute little winter's hat, like a little knitted thing with a poof ball on top. It's so cute. So we have our thermal stone, we've got our winter's hat at the ready because tomorrow starts winter, so that is a good place, I think, for us to start our next episode. So thanks for joining our friendly neighborhood Spider Weber, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!